So you choose first. So you can play whatever you want. I will be a Bosniak. I will go defensively this time, okay? <laughs> okay. I will be Serbian. So shall we draw cards now? Yeah, first of all, you should press the white flag button to, to switch sides. Okay, I'm gonna be, as I said, Bosniak. All right. Okay, and now you can. I will play this openly, try not to pick in my hand. Man. <laughs> so, yes, here it is in the turn. Yeah. Maybe you should switch to solo player so you can draw cards. Yeah, for yeah. The creation too. Yeah, you I will. show them since you're sharing your screen. Okay, so here's this. here is the Bosnian hand and here is the Croat hand. Croats in the turn one get five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And the Bosniaks get five cards as well. So this is it. Now Cesar will draw seven cards because Serbs get seven cards in the turn one. I have already done that. I have seven cards in my hand. Okay, now uh, first thing we need to do is place reinforcements. If you look at the order of play, you can't see it well because it's hidden, but if we take this one, yeah. Order of play is the order of these cards here. So it's Serb, after the Serbian Croat plays, and then Bosnia plays. So in turns one and two, Serbian plays, then Croat, then Bosniak. In turn three, it changes because the Bosniaks are finally uh, prepared and organized for war, and that happened in 1994. And in turn three and turn four, Bosniak plays first, Croat again second, and the Serb plays third. So Serb will now first place reinforcements, then Croat will place reinforcements, and then Bosniak, and then we'll play our cards. Okay? Okay, I have to place 10 reinforcements. Uh, I have then above the map prepared for me to, to place and I can place them in key spaces or adjacent to those key spaces. Key spaces are those with a red name, for example, Bielgina. Please excuse my English, excuse my Croatian, my Serbian. Bielina, Bielina. I will Bielina. repeat, I will repeat correctly. Bielina. <laughs> <laughs> So here in Bielgina, yeah, oh, it's hard for me to say, I have already two units. So since the stacking limit is three, I can place a third unit. In Priboy, I will place another three units up to the stacking limit. I can do that because Priboy is adjacent to, to, to this place, to this key space, which I will not name. Bielina. Bielina. Okay. Excellent. Spornik. I have one unit here in Spornik and I will place two more. And uh, I couldn't place units reinforcements in Blasenica because Blasenica is not adjacent to a key space. Well, it's adjacent to Serebrenica, but this key space is not controlled by Serbians, so I cannot use that. Please don't correct me if I'm mistaken at some point, but... You are think... correct. Key spaces are the ones with the red name and the underline. Those are the key spaces. Okay, this is a tricky one. I want to place reinforcement here in, in this place, which I will leave to Tom. Marconic Grad. Marconic Grad. Okay. Marconic was a Serbian leader in the old ages, and in his honor, this town is named Marconic Grad. Okay. I'm able to do that because this place is adjacent to Banja Luka, but this space is not connected to a Serbian supply source which are Yugoslavian foreign spaces. I'm signaling at them. 
and I cannot trace a path like here, here, because the venta is a blue space, which mean which means it's controlled by Croatians, and I cannot trace through that space, or I can go through Banja Luka, Kotor Barok, the Sanyi, Doboy, but then Grasanica or Gradachac Gradachac Thank you, Tom. Are green spaces, which means they are controlled by Bosniaks. So again, I cannot trade supplies from here. Am I out of supply? No, because I have limited supply coming from key spaces. Each key space allows me to supply three units, up to three units. So I have one, two, three, and four key spaces. Sansky Most, Banja Luka, Prinjavor, and the boy, which means I can supply up to 12 units in this enclave. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, and nine. That means I could have up to three more units in this enclave, and I will place since two more units here. And I have two more units to deploy, and I will do that in Sarajevo. Sarajevo is here in the map, but it's zoomed in here. And I will place both of them, for example, in Such. Such, is that correct? Such. Such. Okay. I can do that again because it's adjacent to Bogoska, which is a key space again. So I think I'm good. And now it's Croat's it's turn. Funny. Okay, uh, anybody has any suggestions where to place creation reinforcements? We get one, two, three, four, five of them. You can talk, you can write text. No. Well, Cesar, do you have any ideas where to put it? Yes. I know what, what I'm going to do. I know uh, one of my priorities is to reconnect this enclave so they can get supply to Yugoslavia. So I'm going to storm Brisco and maybe Mosanski Brod. Or Daniel has about three questions. Yes, Hank. Uh, in this game, uh, there are no defined and strict alliances, which means each turn you can attack anybody. Or say to somebody, let's do this together. So there are no uh, prescribed alliances. You can attack the Serbs uh, and the Bosniaks can attack Serbs and uh, next round you can attack Bosniaks. So... It depends on the situation and on the way you play. Uh, you cannot um, exchange forces. You cannot directly use some other uh, side's forces as your own. But you can help them by attacking. Supply, yes. Uh, supply is... Uh, you cannot give anybody supply. Serbs get their supplies always from Yugoslavia and Bosniaks and Croats get their supplies always from Croatia. And both can trade supplies from through each other spaces. Both Croatian and Bosniak can trade supplies through the other one controlled spaces, but not Serbians. Okay, let me then suggest how about placing some Croats in Posavina and some here, as usually people do. What do you say? I think uh, you should place a Croatian reinforcement because at first Bosniak and Croatians sh uh, usually go hand by hand. Two, 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 While so... the is the one. So I can concentrate or I can split 
it all depends what I expect, but I will play as a stupid computer, so I will not think much. And I will play a bit stupidly, like la 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 la. So, tra la la, I don't know, bugoino, tra la la, maybe even here in, in, in Zapadni Mostar, I don't know. That's about it for Croat, and the Bosniak gets only two. Because in 1992, Bosniaks were the most unprepared side, mostly unprepared belligerent in this war. So I will... Don't expect me to play very smartly. So expect me just to play. <laughs> I will place in Brčko and maybe I will place in... 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 in Novigrad, Novo Sarajevo. So that's it. So we can play. Okay, maybe it's worth noting that uh, Sarajevo is also an enclave for the Bosniaks because they cannot trace supply to Croatia from there. But then again, there are three key spaces controlled by Bosniaks, so they can supply up to nine units. You have uh, seven, so you're good. So, is it okay if I start? Yes. Okay, first of all, whenever a player whenever a player is going to play around, first of all, he must check supply for all his, his or her units. And I had already done so. All my units can trace supply to Yugoslavia, here or here, except for the ones in this central enclave, but uh, they're good because they have limited supply. Well, not not limited supply. What do you call that in-game terms? They're they're supplied. Uh, when when they are in enclave. Yep, they're supplied from key spaces like Sansky Most. Yeah, limited Luka. supply. Limited supply. Okay. Yeah. So I'm not going to play very smart either because I'm not very smart. So I will start playing. A limited offensive. This is a event, an event card that allows me to to use a special bonus during my operation this turn. I can activate up to three spaces and i will do that i will activate bielgina again i forgot how to pronounce that and Preboy for now differently from other games i don't need to declare all the spaces i'm going to activate i will activate and, and perform any desired action and after seeing the result of those actions, I can decide what else I want to, to do. So I will use two points for now, activating these two spaces, and I'm going to attack Brisco. Okay. Before the before doing anything else, I have to declare if I want to use a combat card and I will decline to do so, but the defender can do that. Let me see. Hmm. Uh, no, no, that's it. Okay, so the card says that before the attack, I have to make a roll to reduce <coughs> one defending full-size unit. So there are two units, I'm going to make one roll, and if I get a three or better, which I don't get, I will have reduced one unit, but that's not the case. So I'm going to attack with 24 strength points against Brisco, and I'm going to roll a die. I get a four, so that's one one time 24, so I will make 24 impacts on the Bosniaks, which will now roll 
on defense. I roll the 3, so if I had 3 plus 3 is 6, and 3 is times 1, is it? It is. Uh, so it's practically uh, 1 unit reduced for the Serbian side. And my, my both units are eliminated, because 24 is... 6 plus 6 is one unit, and 6 plus 6 is second unit, so both of them are eliminated. Are you going to move them, or I will, whoever the offend? Yeah. Okay, so it's uh, eliminate, and eliminate, and we need to manually change the, wait, to, oh, come on, to change the score here. So Bosniaks lost two units, no. Bosniaks lost two units, so we reduce by one, two. So it's 28. And the Serbs gain two... Ah, you do it, yeah. I got two points, two strategic will points. Also, I can advance after combat because the attack space has been emptied, so I can advance with any units that are not reduced. I'm going to attack with these three units and take control of Plusko, which gets me three more strategic will points, which the Bosniak will lose. I will remove it from you. Yes, and so also... Bosnia. Also, the foreign attitude gets worse against me. Not bad for now. Okay. So that was my first two points. I have another one. Oh, I forgot to to add plus three DRM. DRM yeah. Again. Oh, but, uh, Never mind. Not, did, so wouldn't have changed a thing. Also, I'm going to activate Svornik to attack Serbrenica. Before attacking again, I can uh, use a combat car, which I will not do. You want to use a combat car? No, too? no, that's it. So I will roll uh, wait, 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 wait. I will. I will use a combat card. I have uh, mountain troops. Oh I my. have mountain troops and play as combat card. Here it is. That gives me in defense, if I am defending on a mountain, I get entrench bonus. So you get minus two to my to my roll because you're in a mountain, and also another minus two because you're considered to be entrenched. Yes. Also, you get a plus two because of the entrenchment, but also a minus two because Bosniak during the first turn are don't have the proper weapons and organization, so they can fight very well. So I have minus four, but also must plus three from the card. So it's a total of minus one. I'm going to roll eight minus one. It's a seven, which means I'm attacking with 1.5. So that means uh, 18 damages. So my unit will be destroyed because it has only six and I roll uh, six uh, and it's increased by two because of of the entrenchment but also reduced by two because in the turn one as you can see it's not very well visible but in first turn Bosniaks get minus two DRM so practically it all becomes six and it leaves me with the combat value of three, and I don't destroy anything, and I get eliminated. Is that right? Yes? Yes. So this unit is eliminated, and I will shift strategic will, yours and mine. I okay. lose one, and you get one. That's it. I also will advance with all three units oh. to each other and get three more strategic will points because I'm controlling a key space. You lose the same points. And also 
foreign attitude gets worse. Also, at this point I will control the region of Sembericha, so I will mark my control because I have uh, at least three spaces and both key spaces in the region which are you have every space <laughs> everything so it's five more strategic, strategic will. points so i have 44 now okay that was my first card and now it's your turn as croatian all right um, let's see the cards so what shall we play mm -hmm. Let's play. Uh, sorry, Tom. I, I can't remember if you mentioned there's a two player mode for this game. I have tried it and it's great. It works. It, but uh, actually, we, we're doing the three player mode, even if we're just two players. Yes, I prefer to play with three players because it's uh, much more dynamic. But you can play as if the Croats and Bosniaks were in alliance throughout the war. In that case, one player plays as Bosnia-Croat alliance and the other player plays as Serbian. And it's much more the standard tug-of-war type of game. But now, as three players, we get all these different things. For instance, we can now play... Uh, t -t 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 play the entrenchment I will play the entrenchment effort play card and what it says place markers so uh, 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 wait 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 what did I do if you, play, if you play the card every every card in the map will be discarded and cleaned okay, okay. So we get one entrenchment in Bosanski Road and another entrenchment in Bosanski Shamats. And that's it. That's my play. And now I can play as the third player. And that is finally me, Bosnia. So I will... I will establish UN safe areas. But where will I establish them? We'll see. So, place markers. We get, uh -huh. we get. Uh, what did you, I do? Play you play card. the card. Yeah. Okay. And right click on the card. You get the markers right there. Uh huh. So I will place one in Bihać. Did I see just a second? Bihać, Tuzla, Srebrenica, Gorazde. So. It's Bihać and 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 to 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 and Tuzla Srebrenica has fallen Gorazde maybe Tuzla maybe Gorazde I will place it on 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 Gorazde, I think I will do it. Yes, on Gorazde. That's it. And that's the end of first round. And now it's again Cesar's time to play. Okay. As always, first of all, I must check supply for my units. Tom didn't mention that, but it's all good for now for every faction. And I think I am going to go with, uh, I don't know, Gorashde was, was ni nice to have, but uh, that Yun safe area marker, uh, I wouldn't want to deal with UN blue helmets. So, I think I'm going to play VRS Major Offensive. I can activate four spaces. First of them will be 
Marconi Grad. Marconi Grad. One. That will attack Jaitse. But also, Vanya Luca will also attack Jaitse. Before attacking, I'm allowed to move units one space, providing that space is controlled by my side in the moment I play the card. So I can move this unit to Sipovo and attack from here. And one unit from Vanya Luca will move to here. <laughs> Marconis Grad. An attack Jaitze. Correct. Uh, I won't use a combat card. Yes, I will use a combat card. I will use this combat card. Use in attack. Add two DRMs and advance after attack one extra space. Now, do Croatia want to play another combat card? No. Okay, so I'm attacking with 12 strength factors. I have minus one because you're in a mountain space. I always say hex, but it's not hex. <laughs> so minus two, plus three. No, first of all, I want to use artillery. I have to roll three or more to reduce each unit up to two units so i will make two different rolls first second so both units are reduced and now i'm attacking with 12 strength factors which are minus two for the mountains plus three because of the major offensive and plus two because of novica's limit simic so that's plus three total Two plus three, it's uh, one time, it's a five, so one time, and I will make 12 uh, factors. But watch out, did you calculate your mountain? Yes. Sorry? You reduced it minus two for mountain, yeah. Yeah, plus three and plus two and minus two. Yeah, plus okay. Three so let me roll now and i am defending in the mountain which gives nothing to the defender uh, and as i said i will not use any cards so two one practically now uh, you need to understand something when you do uh, the artillery preparation before the attack which is a special action which you get only if you play offensive card and you get this roll three to nine to reduce defending units if you do that and only then you can reduce the defending units before the actual combat takes place so now when i'm calculating his losses i will use uh, two plus two four number four combat factor to attack him if he didn't get that um, artillery support and we only fought with with ground forces he wouldn't reduce my strength before i reduced his because we are calculating our combat at the same time so because of his artillery i am fighting with reduced strength and i get four times uh, times uh, half which is two and i get no damage to him so i can eliminate my units and I get two more strategy will points and Croatia will lose them. I will remove them and right. also will advance into Jaitse, which everybody from Sapo, Sipo. Mm -hmm. And I control the space, which gives, gives me three more points, which Croatia will lose. You, also, do, the, you do the counter movement. I did that. And also, now I control the region of Jusna Kraina, which gets me four more strategic will points. So I'm at 54. Okay, now I'm in level one, which means I 
have one less movement factor for every Serbian unit. I cannot perform a strategic redeployment and I cannot advance after combat. I can advance after combat to the place that uh, was attacked, but not beyond that. But since you played an offensive card, which gives you advance after attack ability, you can do this at this moment still. Correct. So I have two more points and I will activate units in Brisco. And I will also activate units in Bielgina. I will attack Bosanski Samach with everybody. I would like to move this unit to Gradachak, but since this is not a Serbian controlled space, I cannot do that. I will move this unit here over stacking temporarily and I will attack here with five units. I hope I win and I can advance after, after combat because otherwise I will have a big troubles. I don't want to play any more combat cards, but every combat card already played is still active for any other combat during this round. So I will take advantage of Novika's image. Also, the major offensive. So I will roll first for artillery. Uh, well, first of all, do you want to play a uh, Combat no, no, I'm game. okay. Okay, we roll, and with a five, the unit is reduced. Now, I have 20 strength factors, and I have plus three for the offensive, and plus four for the combat car, and minus one because you're entrenched, so it's a plus three total. I will roll and it's a six, so one times 20, and I will win the combat. Mm -hmm. And I will now roll. I get for the entrenchment these bonuses. So attacker minus two. Okay, he did that already. I get plus two dice roll modifier. So if I roll, puff, I'm nine, so I get the maximum, and the maximum gives me times two. So that means. 2 times 2 is 4, I give him no, I inflict no damage. And that's it, the unit is eliminated and the entrenchment is removed. So, eliminate the unit and I will now change strategic will. I lose 1 and the Serbian gains 1 and he can continue. I will advance with 3 units to Vosanski Samac and leave two behind in defending Brisco. And uh, I could advance also one space, one extra space to Grada Charge. And I'm going to do that with just one unit. So I can reconnect my enclave here. And now every unit, every Serbian unit will be supplied from Yugoslavia. And that's it. Okay. All right. Let's see what. Yes. A question. Uh, did you advance one extra space to Gradachak? Uh, mm -hmm. Because uh, you have the combat, the, the, the car, the offensive car yes. that gives you advance. And in this case, you don't take into account the foreign attitude track. Yes, cards always trumps regular rules. Okay. Thanks. Yes. Since the card allows me to, to perform this extra advance, I will do that even if the foreign attitude track will not allow me to do that. Yes. In, in most card-driven games, cards always overrule the rules because the cards are nothing else but the exceptions to the rules. So when you have a card which states some event, when you use it, you always get that event no matter what the rules usually say so it's um, turn for the croat 
and the croat will play hmm will play will play will play uh -huh. incursion from croatia yeah all right nice card so it represents the situation when the croat special forces did the uh, over the border attacks on the serbs so for instance we will cross over sava and the attack uh, on two uh, uh, on two serbian full-sized units in bosanski shamats we will attack them using these commandos and we will we will reduce each unit on roll three to nine you can roll one die but i always say if you have to roll for several units roll one die for each unit it's more fun and it's more exciting so first roll is uh, miss <laughs> second roll is a hit so we will reduce one unit in bosanski shamats and that's okay. it for the croats and now the Bosniaks. Bosniaks are extremely bad positioned. They have 21 strategic wheel, which is all right for now. And what they can do, they can replace these three eliminated units. And that's what I usually do when I play Bosniaks so early. I just defend and wait. So I will look at the cards and I can see I but can not much more Bosnia can do. That, yeah. Than uh, for instance, diplomatic effort is not useful to me at all because I will not capture any uh, spaces now and I can use it for things like this and I will play it for replacements. And this card gives me f card value of 4, which is multiplied by 2, which is 8 replacement points. Uh, two replacement points can replace one full-sized unit. So I get all three of these units and I have two more replacement points which I don't have anywhere to, to spend right now, but no mind. So I will replace all of these three eliminated units and I can place them on the uh, newly, in, uh, newly uh, raised units can be placed only on key spaces if you are within the stacking limit so i'm gonna place um one in 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 istochni mostar just to be on the safe side regarding the croats and i will place because i never know when croats will attack and captures up on the herzegovina and i can place one in in Zenica or or maybe even yes in Zenica just to be on the safe side here in Srednya Bosna and the third one can go Gorazde is pretty much safe for now I think and Sarajevo would be very nice to capture at least one space so I will place one in Obstina center here. That's it for just, me now. Just a quick note. Even if Oras there was not uh, safe, you wouldn't be able to place replacement there because it's under UN protection. Yes. <clears throat> and that prevents you from placing replacement or reinforcements there. So it's your turn now. Okay. I think I will. I have two reduced units, so I could place, I could play one card to get replacements, but uh, probably that will be wasting a lot of points. So I will do this instead. I will play this e event, which improves units into a motorized unit. I will do that with reduced unit that have the side effect to to improve them to full strength so they change into motorized units and get back to full force 
that's it for now and here in Bielina as well so this represents the elite units which Serbs had and instead of placing uh, 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 units in Banja Luka where there was one one armored brigade from the beginning of the war I uh, allowed the player to use a card to select which units does he want to to turn into those mechanized brigade so that's the Serb and now Croat again Croat will try to defend Posavina if possible now in Posavina he has only two units and he has three eliminated units it would be nice if he could reinstate those units and defend Bosanski Brod because he's too weak to attack now especially now the Serb has gone into mechanized units and um, it's too early to go into offensive so he will play international recognition of Croatia and play it for replacements and he gets four replacement points that gives him the ability to replace two full-sized units and he will place one of them in Bosanski Brod Wait. And like this so there are three units and entrenchment in Bosanski Brod and he will place this another one in in, 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 in Bugojno or Zapadni Mostar let's go with, with Bugojno and that's it for the for the Croat so it's Bosniak's turn now and Bosniak well he replaced everything he can attack but attacking so early in the game is very costly and needs to be overwhelming to succeed so he will play <laughs> well we'll try to do something we will play manpower advantage for operation and we will get four four uh, operational points so we can activate four spaces to move to attack to entrench all right and i will now i think tuzla is safe for now Tsazinska Krajina is safe and I will try to attack Grbavica with saturated attack from three spaces Novigrad, Novo Sarajevo and Općina Center against Grbavica so we have 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 9 is 15 and 15 plus 9 is 24 in attack 24 and when I attack as Bosniak I get minus 2 dice roll modifier and since I'm attacking a city and this is a this is a city space here it gets a uh, minus 4 dice roll modifier which totals to minus 6 okay so when I roll it's modified by minus 6 and I have combat factor of 24 so let's see and poof, minus 6 is 1 and 1 gives me combat effectiveness of half 1 half 1 half of 24 is 12 which means this unit will be eliminated and Caesar, first. Caesar needs to roll that's times 1.5 that means I inflict six hits that will reduce one a Bosniak unit before I die. I eliminate, I will adjust points, I lose one, and Bosnia wins another one. You reduce one of your units and can advance after combat. Uh, just remind me, do I reduce or... Uh, yeah, yeah, I attacked, so I get to pick which one. Mm, I will reduce one in center 
and I will move in with I can move up to three units and all of them need to be full full strength units so I will do this and I will do this and that's it for now I captured one space yay yay and 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 the fourth point I had four operational points I will do something else and that is here in huh, capturing takes two I do not want to move or maybe I will should I risk it I can try to attack Croats in Vitez yes or not I can try to capture Prozor uh, you can uh, move your units and capture empty enemy spaces uh, just by entering into them uh, uh, you use this movement factor movement factor uh, when you use uh, use it to move between your friendly spaces you uh, spend one movement factor for each space but if you use it to capture enemies space you use two so I can activate Jablanica and capture Prozor just by moving and I spend all of these two with that movement. And now when I did that in Severna Herzegovina to capture Severna Herzegovina I need to have three spaces under my control and I do Prozor, Jablanica and Hajici and as well I need to have all of the key spaces and this little asterisk says that I have only one key space and that is Jablanica. So I have all the necessary conditions to capture Sjeverna Herzegovina. Tough. And that gives me four strategic will points. One, two, three, four. Let's very well round, very nice round for Bosniaks and that's it for me. Yes, very well played. Okay, I'm going to play another event as Serbian. First of all, well, I always should check supply for my units. They are all good. I'm going to play concentrated firepower. Mm. I can reduce up to three full strength units from my opponent. I can choose which opponent. It will be Croatia. But I have to be adjacent to those units. In Bosanski Brod, I'm adjacent, so I will reduce Ooh. every <laughs> Also, since Croatia last turn played a replacement card, they are not allowed to play a second uh, replacement action this round, so won't be able to to turn to full strength those units unless it has some uh, tricky event in his hand. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, it's Croats turn now, and Croats can uh, do something else. Uh, we can play, for instance, HVO offensive, and we can turn against the Bosniaks and try to capture. Well, it would be very hard to capture Istočni Mostar now because it's behind the river and in the city so it's practically impossible with only three units here but we have three units in Bugojno and one in Vitez maybe we can push them out from Travnik I don't know what do we gain by that not much or possibly we could I don't know do some some um, <laughs> offensive operations against Serbs although with reduced units we 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 cannot advance into uh, further from captured space but maybe we could capture Prnjavor if we could capture Prnjavor although boy because they are defended only by one unit uh, we would reduce uh, the supply limit for the Serbs by three points 
And currently they have Sanski, Most, Jajce, Banja Luka, Prnjavor and Doboj. That is 5 times 3, 15. And they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No. We can't, but we can split them in... in what if we split them in Prnjavor, for instance? If we do that, nah, we don't gain that anything. That's be a problem for me, because I can trace through Doboj. Yeah. Sorry. If we split you in Doboj, we reduce you to Sanski, Banja Luka, Prnjavor, Jajce, that's four, and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 10. Still, you are under, under the supply limit. So, just by doing that, we would lose too much and we wouldn't gain anything and we would lose Bosanski Broad, that's for sure. We could strategically redeploy and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use strategic redeployment to shift my forces, which are very, very limited and, oh hell, what can I redeploy? I can redeploy one unit from Vitez. <laughs> and uh, one from Chaplina and put them where? In Derventa. Just to spice things up. That's what I'm going to do. But yeah? You can do that, but uh, since... Ah, uh, no, you're, you're supplied. I thought that was an, an enclave, but you no, know, you're supplied. No, I'm supplied. Yeah, yeah. And I'm yeah. going to use... HVO offensive, Havea offensive, and play it for strategic redeployment, and I will redeploy. And this is very, very risky. I will, Vitez goes like this and goes into Croatia, pa -pa 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 -pa, goes by truck, la 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 la, and enters here and puff in Derventa. And the other one goes from Chaplina because I'm betting that Bosniak will not go into offensive. Even if I wasn't playing Bosniak, I wouldn't go in, in offensive so so early. So let's go tuff, ta -ta 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 -ta, and go up there to Derventa as well. And, and, and maybe to overstretch it even more. Yes or no, yes or no, no, no. That would be too much. That's it for now. I reinforced Derventa with two brigades. It's Serbian turn now. No, it's Bosniak. Oh, Bosniak. Bosniak, well, he's got only one card left. And it's three points. And we have replaced, reinforced. We can make entrenchments. And I will... I will I will uh, activate spaces for operations. So three operation points gives me three spaces which I can use for attack or movement or entrenchment. And I will move this one from Prozor back to Jablanica because I'm always scared for this key space or not. I don't know. Let's do this. And the other one will be to 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 to, to get closer to Croat and I will move from Zenica two units in Vitez and capture Vitez by movement. And I will also move, look at this, this Visoko enters into Sarajevo map on number one, see? If you look at Sarajevo, this number one is Semizovac. So I can enter from here to Semizovac, but do I want to do that? That's the question. Because if I do, I'm adjacent to Serbian and maybe I'm inviting his attack. So. I don't want to play that, or maybe I do, I'm not sure. I will. What the hell? I'll go from Visoko to Semizovac. Uh, and that was these three points. I'm finished with the Bosniaks, and I have no more cards as Bosniak. Okay. And that's it.
So I'm going to play a declaration of Republica Spriska for two operation points. I'm going to activate Posansky Samach and Brisco both for combat against Posansky Broad. I uh, will go with everything. I can move these units here for combat because uh, uh, I control the space before uh, using the points and I'm going to play a combat card too which give, gives me 3 DRM in clear terrain and Bosansky Broad is clear terrain at least from Bosansky Samach because there's no river or anything so do you want to play another combat card? As Croatia. You there? Sorry, do you hear me? Yes. You're attacking Bosansky Broad. Yes. Hmm. With four units and a combat card, <laughs> we'll, which will somehow neutralize the entrenchment. I could play my interrupt card, which is a withdrawal card, but I would have to move my units and I have nowhere to move. I am not allowed to enter Croatia. If I <laughs> remember correctly, you correct me if I'm wrong. I can move to Croatia uh, if I am Croatian unit, Have, but uh, if I'm HVO unit, HVO, I can move only F is as uh, during retreat. That's correct. So I cannot play any card now. You you attack. So I'm using uh, seventeen strength points and a DRM of plus one because I have plus three and minus two. So I will roll with a plus one. That's times 1.5. So I'm pretty sure I will eliminate every creation there. Yes. And I get for the entrenchment two dice roll modifier. So when I roll, I get eight. That's times 1.5. And since I have six that gives me nine so i eliminate one of, uh, i flip one of your units and that's the strongest unit that's the mechanized brigade and my units are eliminated so delete and these three go to eliminate box and i also use lose uh, three strategic will points and you get three strategic will points for that that's it and you entered Bosanski Broad, which yes. gives you, please say. Yeah, three more strategic will, and also one bad reputation point from UN. I will. Did you move strategic will? Yeah. Not, not yet. I'm uh, here. Oh, I'm taking every counter no that's it also i think i control posabina now yes you uh, do so i get another six extra strategic will points and that's it that was my two operation points so it's croatia turn now we can always use when we use this Cesar's vessel module, a very nice victory score calculator. Now, before I show you that, just one uh, explanation how the victory score is calculated. Now, bear with me. I will be short, but I need to explain this. When the game started, we all started with the strategic wheel score of 30. If any player reaches zero, during the play, and that can sometimes happen to the Bosniaks, they lose the game immediately. That means they have no will 
to continue the fight and they surrender. So, as you remember, the game finishes with sudden death when any player reaches level 3, he loses, other two players decide who is the winner based on the best score. And if any player gets to the strategic will of 0, he loses and the other two players calculate their score. Uh, if no player uh, uh, reaches 0 or minus 7, and if no player reaches his victory condition, which is 71 for Serbs and uh, 60 for Croats and 55 for Bosniaks, if no player does that in four turns, at the end of the game, score is calculated. Who has the highest score is the winner. How is it calculated? Each player gets initial number of points. Serbs get 0, Croats 11, Bosniaks 16. Then they add to that their current strategic wheel score. And then they deduct uh, the number of uh, regions that are their key regions and they do not control. For instance, if Bosniaks do not control Sarajevo, they lose 14 at the end of the game. And then they get minus 5 times intervention level. So, for instance, if the Serbs are on intervention level 1, they get minus 5 for that. Cesar made a beautiful score calculated here, which does that automatically. So, as you can see, Serbs have 52, Croats 8, and Bosniaks 21. But this will change by the end of the game, believe me. So, so now it's, uh, it's Croats' turn to play. And Croats have only one card left, and they are... Sorry, Tom, before you play your card, now... You should check yeah. your supply. Supply. This point. supply is always checked at the beginning of the round. And as you can see, Derventa is not connected to Croatia. Since it is not connected to Croatia, uh, is it maybe connected to any Croatian uh, big cities, key spaces? No, it is not. It is completely uh, uh, cut off from anywhere and because of that it is unsupplied because it is unsupplied it gets a marker where is it can we place it low supply oops just a second it gets low supply marker now this low supply marker is a is a warning that if next round the same thing happens these units will be without supplies so supplies are low next round they will have no supplies and we will have uh, uh, bad effects on the fighting skill and on the movement so what do we do now so we can still use these units but they are being warned we have one card uh, we can uh, say bye bye to Posavina because I can't see how will I be able to save these units. So Croats will will use this card for replacement, and we get four replacement points, which gives us two new Croatian units, full sized units like this and we can place them on any key space and what do we have left we have Livno Bugojno is full to the brim and we have Zapadni Mostar and that's it for Croats and Bosniaks have no cards and they can't play anything more in this turn and now it's Serbian turn again no cards left because I have played two combat cards during this turn so I have run out of cards so the first turn is over 